Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. How are you today? I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Hope everything's going well, but this retrograde has been weird. So I've had a couple of videos talking about it. Today I'm going to talk to you about what is 2019 bringing. Kind of give you a preview and talk to you about a few things. First I want to ask you, have any of you just found out that this is having to do with some Twin Flame stuff? If so, welcome. I've been doing this work for actually 12 years. I've been putting out videos since 2014. So I have a lot of good information if you go back and look at some of my videos. There's a lot of great information in there. In fact, it's been one of the go-to resources for people. Now I also have a lot of other material, but I'm going to talk to you because 2019 is going to be a very different year than 2018 ones. Just like how 2018 was different than 2017. Next year is going to be a lot different. All of the alignments that the first two to three waves have needed have already taken place. Now next year is going to bring some people who will just be getting woken up. Okay, please don't take this as a criticism because some of them will be people in your families. Some of them will be your children. And this has required some of you to be emotionally stable. So when you look for information, a lot of times you've been looking for something that makes you feel emotionally stable. I am one of the people, in fact, I consider myself to have very high quality material about not just emotional stability, but mental stability, emotional stability, spiritual stability, and physical stability. What happens with your body? What is 2019 bringing? So in other words, this is going to wind up being things that still need to be addressed in the body. Right now, from now till the solstice, you're going to see more hidden things coming up. Be why? Because they just need to be exposed. The interesting thing is that you probably will have been through some emotional term turmoil or you have felt a lot of internal conflict and turmoil from your twin flame and you've dealt with that. Now you can actually get down to the fact and begin to be very much more effective you can be stable about it, and you can simply address what needs to be done. A lot of the sense of urgency will come off. So here's what I want to tell everyone up until the end of the year. Don't be hasty. Okay? Don't be hasty about things. You're going to feel as we head towards the end of the year, it always feels like something's closing out. Something's culminating something's coming to a closure. You're bringing things full circle. You're closing the door on it. It's a lot of ending that can tend to make people feel urgent. It reminds me of that scene in Indiana Jones where he's, you know, trying to get out of the temple, just gets through it. The door is closing and he grabs his hat and he's out. Okay. It can feel like that for sure, but don't be hasty because when you're hasty, mistakes are made. And it's not just ridiculous mistakes. It is sometimes clumsy mistakes. You're still getting coordinated and you are still reintegrating things that belong to you. That's part of what started in July for some people, in August for other people. And there's going to be some of it next year as well. So that's part of what 2019 is bringing. There's going to be a focus on relationships and relationship patterns. What are the things that suddenly become noticeable? What should you be hasty about? Or what should you not be hasty about? Issues with children. So I've said this before. Now, if you have no children, you don't have to listen to this part. But if you have children, pay attention. Your children will go through some stuff. They need you. You should be at a point, for the most part, that when they do, you're emotionally stable. Don't reach into history and do what your grandma and grandpa did. Don't do what your ancestors did. This is very different. If you're having trouble with the kids, 
and you need some additional guidance, come and see me and have a session with me. We will hammer it out so that you're getting what's appropriate for your situation. And we take a lot of that drama out. What else are you going to see? More fighting back. So this is some of, I mean, you're seeing some of this right now. If I were to say to you, Brexit, I got two words for you. Brexit. Brexit. Right there. What about one word? France. Okay. What about another word? Wall. We're putting up a wall. Okay, all of these things stir up emotions in people. There's a lot that's being stirred up, and there are people that are finding ways to bite back. Why? Because nobody wants to be put in a corner again. Nobody wants to be shoved down. That's part of leaving the old paradigm. It's a part of it. doesn't look pretty. It looks a lot like a revolution. And there have been other portals of energy where revolutions have taken place. I've already spoken about some of that two years ago because those are when things... So um, if you recall something that happened in Egypt and it, it flared up and it simmered down, I'm sure there are still things settling with it. But the flare-up, the major flare-up happened at a certain point. And it happened at a point, at a cosmic point, where it was time to get out of the old energy. Okay? Shows up in weird ways. Just like some of this stuff with these weird retrograde energies. Why? Because it's a pushback so that you can properly address things now. With new energies and hopefully with sensibility and stability. Some of you may be getting divorces at a point where you feel much more stable about it. Some of you may be leaving jobs where you feel much more stable about it. Some of you may be expanding your businesses. But again, while you may feel to expand, don't do anything hasty. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't pop. Okay, this happens sometimes with businesses. They pop, they grow, and then what happens? They collapse because they don't have the other parts to support it. It would be like if you had, you know, a business uh, selling cupcakes and you decided you were going to have, you know, a huge seating area and you need to pay a big rent. And then you find out how many cupcakes it takes just to pay the rent. And you wind up closing up because... You just can't possibly sell that many cupcakes and you can't clone yourself and you can't split yourself in a million tiny pieces. That very last thing I said, are you splitting yourself in a million tiny little pieces to do justice to everything? Pay attention to you. This is when absolutely you have to love you. You honor you. You do what you can handle. And when that sense of urgency is on, Pay attention to you and how it's making you feel. Because those same kind of energies are when the stock market, for example, the stock market, everyone's like, sell, sell, you know, the sky is falling, okay? Empires are made with calm, cool, emotional stability, okay, stable. Not a coldness, not a cold head. It's made slow and steady on the way up on the way down, whatever's going on. Now, what's been in the fourth dimension is coming down to earth. A lot of this is going to be beliefs, you know, beliefs that about what people deserve or don't deserve. That's one of them. Do you deserve good food? Absolutely. Do you deserve nutritious food? Yes. Do you deserve a roof over your head? Yes. And you see some of this backlash in Western culture. You see some people that you know, do overextend and they're realizing they've been overextended, not just in this life, but in many lives. And it hurts. Okay. I want to remind everyone of one thing. There's not one of you. There's two of you. There are two people in your union, two persons with two bodies, two streams of experience, two streams of consciousness that you are getting together. So whatever has been in the fourth dimension is coming down to earth to be dealt with. 
What does that mean at the human level? It's going to mean more immigration issues. It's going to mean marital issues. It's going to mean financial things that come up. It's going to mean health care. It's going to be the health and well-being of wherever you are. The envelope is being pushed in many directions here. Okay. But like with everything, there is a time of expansion and there's a time of contraction. You're in one of those contractions. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to find that a lot of things come to closure. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, for example, if you're in South America, Australia, you will find that some things are expanding for you or expanding in your country or in your area. You find that some things open. And you don't always get that between the hemispheres, okay? But that's a part of how the equalizing is happening so far. And the up and the down and the up and the down until it starts to smooth out. All of these can affect your body. That is what I teach about. I teach about the bodies. This solstice is about balance of power. So you might think when I say the word power, what does that mean? Balance of power. A lot of people think of the government. The government has power, but the government's still made of people. I'm here to talk to you about what it means for twin flames. It means no more of this between you and your twin. It means that's got to smooth out. If you don't know how to smooth it out and balance it, you need to come see me. Because it's not about physical power plays like there are in a male-female relationship. I'm the man, I say this, you will do that. I'm the woman, I say this, you will do that. You got to take out the garbage, you're the man. Well, you got to cook the meals, you're the woman. You know, sometimes it gets that way in certain relationships. Not every relationship is like that. Balance of power. Power is actually love. Okay, when it comes to twin flames, your power comes from your love. It doesn't come from any other source but your divine level of love and your divine connections to the divine. Balancing. This means sometimes like those people on a tightrope. Are you on a tightrope from one place to another place? And you feel like, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 okay, and you're being thrown off. Another thing you'll feel in this energy, you're going to actually feel movement. And some of that movement is going to feel like dizziness, just like seasickness. You're going to feel some of it. So when you feel this at the solstice, this is going to mean more attention to details. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the details of your life. Not the details of all everybody else, not the details of the government or, you know, your extended family. Pay attention to you and your vicinity. In order to do so, I have several things to help you with. I have a webinar called Catching Your Spirit Body because along with this biting back and pushing off of things so that you can have a balance... You have to get your spirit body intact. This actually involves no drinking of alcohol, no marijuana, no cigarettes, and no recreational stuff. Some people are going to like that. Why? Because what's been in the fourth dimension and it's been okay and you can live like that for years, it's suddenly going to come down to earth. It might be things that affect your children and your relationships. People who drink sometimes do understand that their drinking has an effect on their relationship. It affects their family, their kids, their other things, or they get affected by it. How many people have had unhealthy parents? Okay. How many of you have had to squash your spirit so that you could just get along with everyone else? That's what this webinar is about. It's about catching your spirit body back and sealing the gates of your heart. Because that's important. Or you can have a one on one session with me. And I also have my first ebook out.
This is my first ebook. Hey, okay? it's a downloadable. The link is below. It is Twin Flame Body, Your Subtle Body Connections. And this is for everyone, even though I have a man and a woman on the cover. This is for the same things in here apply to lesbian, gay, if you are a trans, along with your twin flame, if you are intersex. So if you're man, woman, woman, man, 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 woman, woman, all of the things in here apply. Why? This is about the beginning of your subtle body connections. I'm the author of it. Okay. And I hope that you get it. It's very reasonably priced. The link is below. So I have several options for you at several price points. So I'm not going to take criticism for promoting what it took me very hard to work on. Because like I say, I've been at this for years. This is all I do. I'm not dabbling in this. This is getting deep. And I don't have to be apologetic for it. And I would be remiss if I wasn't talking about the things that I have available at different price points for people. Because not everyone may have the same budget. I understand that. This is a webinar that's very helpful. This is usable for several cycles. My ebook, you can keep it for a while. Everything is valid information and it is recognized at the Library of Congress. I have the documents for it because I've registered it there. Or a causal body one-on-one -on -one session or a cycle bo psyche body session. Psyche body session is especially good for addictions, abuses, sexual abuse. So 2019 is going to get into some heavy duty stuff. For some of you, you're leaving because you might have started that heavy duty stuff in 2016. For other people, it's just going to start up. So for a lot of people, it's sort of implied that this end of the year, that this is bringing a lot of things. It is bringing in your alignments. Deepen your alignments because those alignments require you to work with your subtle body connections. Okay. I am also having a live class in the Chicago area. So if you want to have an epiphany, come on Epiphany Day, January 6th, 1 till 4 p.m. Again, very reasonably priced. We're going to do a lot of things. We're going to spend four hours in depth. And this is going to continue, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm here to teach this. I'm here to teach this. And not only that, I have actually a very good way for you to merge yourselves and make this easy. So that's what this book is about, is it distills down the steps. It gives you explanations. It gives you uh, terminology. It gives you some of the process. It gives you, I have three exercises in here on what to do. And also you can get the material at my store. My store, I have another website called TwinFlameBody.com where I have some other sessions there. So either TwinFlamesMerch.com, TwinFlameBody.com, or you can email me if you're not sure and I will help you out. 2019 is going to be a very good year and it's going to be one that brings a lot of positive change. But change is never easy even for the best reasons. Breaking away from old things is never easy, even for the best reasons. I want to see you kissing your true love in 2019. I'd like to see it now, actually. And I've been working with people, and I do have people that are coming together. A lot of those people tend to leave for a while. They stay away from things like social media. Hey, I know them. The other thing that happened as soon as we came out of, you know, as soon as we started going direct, this is bringing up things that have not been addressed in a while. Those things simmering under the surface that you're kind of like, yeah, I'll get to that one day. Yeah, I'll fix that tooth. Yeah, I'll fix myself. Yeah, I'll work on that. And you finally got to get to it because boom, it's suddenly in your face. Yeah, I'll change my bank. Yeah, I'll get this. Yeah, I'll go talk to a lawyer. Oh gosh, I really don't want to. Please get it done, okay? 
when you get the facts, that right there takes a lot of the drama and a lot of the emotion out of it. Come and get the facts from me. I have been doing this for years. This is done actually with high guidance, and I'm just going to explain how I know. I like to say I read the heart, not the head. But what does that mean? That means that when you talk, for me, your high heart connections open. I am actually reading your high heart. Not here, not emotional connections to mom or dad or your brothers or, you, you know, uh, someone from high school, unless it's the one. And I feel, okay, I can certainly distinguish between what the thoughts are and what beliefs are and what's from past lives. Of course, I can distinguish that. But I'm working with your high heart energy. So, yes, I read the heart not the head, not the human head, not the ego mind. That's to make it a little bit clearer for you. And I want you to be singing. There's a really good song. Besame, besame mucho. Kiss me, kiss me a lot. I'll sing more on another day. I don't want to mess up the words, but... Kissing, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. This is what you want to send your energy as. You don't want to send a mixed signal. So let's clear it up so that it's clear between you two. I work with you. This is about getting your high heart channels open. That is uh, your subtle body connections so that you connect not only to two people, but it is your trinity of connection to your divine levels, to the divine. It's intricate. It's not complicated, it's intricate. The complications are going away. 2019 is going to make a lot of the complications go away. If you feel your children are coming between you and your twin, find out what to do about that. Because children are not intended to, and even when they act out, there are things and ways to help them. You're not going to abandon your children. You will not be able to re abandon your responsibilities. 2019 is about accountability from the past. Closing the door on the past means now being accountable for the things that have affected people, have shunted people aside, have kept them downtrodden, have kept them undeserving, and all of it. Okay? Yes, it's a process. Yes, there's a lot that's going to go into this. Okay? Some of you have to be able to blast open those doors of love with each other so that others can start up. Okay? Because what a beautiful world it will be when everybody is in love. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links down below. I look forward to working with you. Reach out to me. I'm here to help. And thank you very much. Bye.